known. I am writing to you not because we are in debt, but because I am helping so many people to get out of debt. It is a real problem in our society and the church is not exempt from it. I believe as we are teaching the Bible to young Christians, all these practical issues need to be taught. The Word of God needs to be earthed in practical living. I believe debt can be avoided with right teaching. Could you talk about debt on your post bag? Blessings, Ron. Well, Ron, I believe you're so right. I believe it's in the society and it is in the church. And I think the problem is that money is so easy to get, but it's very hard to pay back. I have seen young couples get over £50,000 in debt because they borrowed and borrowed, thinking that things would work out. And what you say, Ron, I think the church should start teaching because it is better to prevent the problems. It is the cause of many marriage breakdowns because the money problems arise and it causes rows and in the end it's a marriage breakdown. The suicide rate is so high too because of debt. So it is something that has got to be dealt with in the church. And there is a very good organisation that does training, but also goes into people's homes and helps people who have got into debt. And it is called Christians Against Poverty. And I have put this newsreel out because I think it is so informative for Christians. Christians Against Poverty, or CAP, um, as is commonly known, um, is a charity that works right across the UK. CAP is a charity that works in partnership with local churches, um, provides the skills, the resources, um, the back office support to equip churches to reach their community um, in the whole area of debt. Poverty for us is different. Um, you can live in a big house but have no food or not be able to heat that house. Yet, to many of us today, we would think that person is rich. Um, you can have a lovely car but not be able to afford to run that car. CAP does bring hope. CAP transforms lives. Um, and, and really through just a very simple process, we go in and we get alongside families. We, we talk through and, and discuss and we take down financial details. We, we put a budget together and that's the most important thing. So the families know how much they have for the bills. They know how much they have for the basics. And then we look at the long-term debt situation and we try to come to a solution. We negotiate with creditors and ultimately we're helping release people from the poverty in which they've been trapped and in which they've been stuck within and, and also equipping people to manage their own finances. The lives that are changed, when you see the difference it makes for families, when you see people that are alive because they haven't committed suicide because of the pressure. One of my favourite verses is that in Matthew 25. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. That is what we're doing through CAP. That is a 21st century um, description of, of what we are doing right now, yet it comes from the Bible. And we as a local church need to be in the midst of those um, situations. We need to be meeting those needs. And I think actually if we don't meet the needs of our communities, if we don't reach out to the people today, then actually what is the church? What are we really reaching for? And um, what's the purpose of church today otherwise? If you would like to write to Lorna's Postbag, you write to info at revelationtv.com or send a letter to me by the address on the screen. I look forward to hearing from you.